What's up everyone? Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to do a little maintenance video on the Corvette. Uh, this applies to all C5 Corvettes. Uh, we're going to clean out the rain ducts under your cowl here. A lot of people call these udders because they literally look like udders that attach underneath here. And uh, just uh, funnel the water down. You know when it's raining it'll run down and go through there even if you're washing your car. Uh, but over time what happens is you know you get debris in there whether it's leaves, sticks, whatever, dirt. And they get clogged up and then the water starts to back up and uh, this is bad for two reasons uh well possibly more two two big ones that i know of uh, on the driver's side of the vehicle your wiper motor's under there so that water starts backing up it can cause a lot of problems where your wiper motor stops functioning and then on the passenger side which is why i'm checking mine uh, last time it rained cars outside uh, not a super heavy rain but just a steady soaking rain and uh, my foot well was wet on the passenger side so that backs up and then the water starts going in the cabin so it's definitely something you want to take care of it's a fairly easy fix uh, I'm gonna run you through it here quick and uh, see what we find okay so there's two ways that I know of how to do this uh, the first way is a little more involved we're gonna, we're gonna take the shortcut today uh, first way you pull off your wiper arms and then you pull out these little tabs right here and you pop off that uh, cowl panel there. Uh, but the way we're gonna do it today is uh, there's three on this side and one on uh, the passenger side. You gotta remove the battery and uh, we'll do that in a minute. But uh, really, and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but they're located right under there and you can get two of the three of them by just reaching your hand down there and uh, pulling them out. So that's what we're gonna do if the first two are clogged up really bad cause for concern i guess we're gonna have to pull the cowl panel off and uh, you know pull the other one but if there's a little bit in each uh i'm not, I'm not gonna be that worried about the, the last one on this side and there's one over there and that's the one i think's clogged and I'm, I'm not sure why this car has been garage kept for the last six years the guy I had it off or sorry the guy i bought it off i had it garage kept but he only put like 500 miles on it in like six years and then the original owner put about 146,000 on it though in I guess about 11 years. So it was a driver for most of its life until uh, last guy got it. Older gentleman just kind of put it in the garage, took it out for ice cream with the wife once or twice a year. And then I bought it and it's back to being a driver slash track car. So uh, yeah, we'll uh, see what we find. Okay, so let's get at it here. Uh, we're going to do the driver's side first here. Um, easiest way to get your hand down there is go between the fender and the slave. And you can feel them both right there. And uh, There's one. That one's literally empty. There's two literally empty so that's a good sign and I'm gonna see if I can get my hand on the third one. Oh, so I got the third one there's some I don't know what's on the top of that there looks like some some dirt and see in there a couple a couple sticks nothing serious um the videos I watched online before I attempted this they're saying you can't reach that third one I guess maybe I have longer arms but uh yeah so that's the three on the driver's side so then to reinstall these it's the exact same process in reverse you just grab one get your hand back under there and uh, attach them up one thing I do want to add when you're putting these back in uh so there's just holes in the bottom of the panel so you sort of pinch the top, slide it through, and then that uh, lip right there is what holds them in place. So it's not like there's, when you're reaching around down there, it's not like there's a nipple that sticks off. It's just a little hole that you got to pinch, uh, pinch the rain duct, slide it up, and then let it go. And then that, uh, like I said, that bridge uh, holds it in place. All right, so we got the driver's side back on already. Um, hardest part about that, everybody said it's hard to get the Back one out, back one came right out. It was a little tricky getting in. It might've took me two minutes, just, you know, typical car stuff, bending your arm in ways your arm is not supposed to bend, but nothing too, too difficult. Uh, so this one sits back behind the battery here on the passenger side. You can't really see it until I get the battery out of here. So uh, first thing I gotta do is disconnect the battery. So we're gonna take the cables off here first. 
All right, so I took the cables off. Uh, take your negative off first, then your positive, and then the last thing you have to do, if you look straight down there, that's the bolt that holds your battery in. Uh, mine's not original, but it's a 13 mil long extension. We'll take that out, then we'll be able to pull the battery out and be able to see what we're working with. All right, so we yanked the battery out, got the cables out of the way, and uh, we're working back in here. Um, put your hand on it. It's, it's right there is where it connects under this little piece right here where it connects to the cowl. But this one is pretty long, so if you're uh, once you get it loose and you're tugging on it, as you can see, there is all kinds of wiring on this side of the car. Uh, just careful what you're pulling on. Don't get it caught in any wires. Don't break any connections. But uh, so I'm going to get my hand back there, wrestle it out, and we'll see what we have. All right, so I just tugged on it. It came, came loose. It's right here. Pull it up and around. Like I said, there's tons of wires. Careful what you're pulling on. And you can see, that's, that's, that, that one's pretty big. And looking in there, I can see a bunch of bunch of junk. So we're gonna we're gonna go flush this one out and uh, get it cleaned up. And hopefully that's uh, my problem with the uh, water on the passenger footwell. So I just walked towards the garage here when I said I was gonna clean this up. Like you can see, there's there's some gunk in there. But if you look at the other end, it is that's solid. Get my camera to focus here. That's just dirt and crap and leaves and whatever from probably from 2002. So that would definitely explain the, the wet footwell. So I'm gonna go uh, try to run some water through this, get a screwdriver, dig that out and uh, reinstall it. So on this one being longer, the end piece actually comes out. Uh, the little piece on the left there, that's, that's the bottom that faces towards the car. Uh, but you can see there's just, like that is just packed tight with, it looks like mulch, I don't, I don't even know what the heck it is, but uh, we're gonna have to get this cleaned up. That was literally inside the rain duck on the passenger side of the car. So I'm fairly confident that was my problem with uh, water entering the cabin. All right, so everything's back together. You can see the battery's back in, cables are connected. It's in there nice and tight. So hopefully going forward, we won't have any more uh, problems with uh, water entering the cabin. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. Uh, if I can do it, anybody can do it. I'm no around with cars do some diy stuff but i literally got that done in probably under 20 minutes and that was with uh filming it and kind of reaching down there beforehand just so i can i knew what i was talking about when i was trying to explain to you where it was at so if you have a c5 i really recommend checking this out um you know it can save you a lot of problems down the road whether it's your wiper motor or uh, like me i have water entering the cabin on the passenger side your pcm's on that side so definitely not something you want to get wet so to me, hey, it's worth 10 minutes, 20 minutes of your time um, just to get that cleaned out to give you a little bit of peace of mind going down the road, um, especially if you keep the car outside or you drive in the rain a lot. Um, you know, well, you saw that one, how, how bad that was backed up. So that water has to go somewhere and unfortunately it's going in your car. So uh, hopefully you found this video helpful. Uh, if you did, you liked it, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. Uh, thanks for tuning in and I'll uh, see you in the next video.